So now let's look at the Dragonfly Doji and the Gravestone Doji Simple Candlestick Patterns. These both have the same opening and closing price similar to the normal Doji. But instead of forming a plus sign, these have long tails or shadows forming a T or an upside down T. First, let's discuss the Dragonfly Doji, which is considered to be a bullish Doji. The Dragonfly Doji is when the open, the close, and the high of the day are all the same price. This creates a long lower wick with a short horizontal line at the top, which forms a T-shape. This shows that the stock fell during the day, but buyers drove the stock back up to the market close. The bears were able to take the price down, but the bulls were strong enough to bring the price back up to the opening price. This is a potential reversal signal for the current stock trend, but other candles are required to confirm. The longer the lower tail of the Dragonfly Doji, the more bullish the pattern indicates. The low of the Dragonfly tail can be considered the new support as buyers came in strong at that level. The Gravestone Doji is when buyers drop the price up during the day, but sellers are still prevalent and drop the price back down to the opening price before the market closes. The open, close, and the low of the day all end up being the same price. This forms an upside down T and could signal a trend reversal. The bulls were able to push the price higher, but eventually failed and the bears brought the price back down to the opening price, which is the low of the day. This is a bearish signal, which shows that bears are clearly in control. The longer the upper shadow on the gravestone doji, the more bearish the signal. Other candles should be used to confirm the reversal. So now let's take a look at an example of a dragonfly doji on our candlestick chart. You can see here that this stock was in a decline, but then a dragonfly doji formed down here at the support level. Since the price closed at the high of the day, the dragonfly doji is much more bullish than a normal doji. You can see the following day had a bullish white candle, confirming the trend reversal. Although the dragonfly doji is a more bullish signal, you should wait on a confirmation signal before trading. Now let's take a look at an example of a gravestone doji. You can see here that this stock was trading sideways, but then formed a gravestone doji here at the top. The bears gained control, which resulted in a massive drop. Having closed at the low of the day, the gravestone doji is a much more bearish signal than a regular doji would be. On this trade, personally, I would have waited till two days after the doji till I saw the black candle to confirm my trade. Not all signals work 100% of the time, but you'll get better at reading candles as you get more experience. In the next section, we'll dive into some of the various complex candlestick patterns that you may come across. I'll see you in the next video.